All right, airports are expecting a big surge in travelers this holiday season. Yeah, some travel experts predict the numbers will triple the numbers from last year, triple. So wow. what can you take through security these days? What pandemic protocols are still in place? News 8's Kelly Hesedal joins us live from San Diego International Airport with everything you need to know. Hi, Kelly. Hi, you guys. That's right. Uh, you know, some people, uh, this is going to be the first time they've traveled since the pandemic hit. So some reminders are you do need to wear your mask inside the airport as well as on your flight. Now, the TSA says this is the time of year when they get a lot of questions about food. People want to know what they can and can't bring on the plane. Anything solid like cakes, cookies, breads, meat, cheeses, fruits, those can go in your carry-on luggage in unlimited quantities. TSA spokesperson Lori Dankers walks us through the do's and don'ts of holiday airport travel when it comes to food. Any liquids more than 3.4 ounces must be put in checked baggage. If you can spill it or spread it, pour it or pump it, it's considered a liquid. A lot of times people like to bring soups. They like to go ahead and cook those ahead of time, let them maybe simmer for a couple of days, and then they want to bring those through. And they bring a whole pot of soup. Well, they're not going to be allowed to take that through because of that liquid quantity. Airports across the country are expected to be very busy starting today through the 3rd of January. Danker says some airports are seeing pre-pandemic numbers when it comes to travelers. Here at San Diego International, she says the biggest rush is typically during the morning hour. We have knives of all shapes and sizes. We have the brass knuckle clutches. She reminds passengers not to bring prohibited items through security, like weapons. A common one that we're seeing multiple times per week here at San Diego International is flashlight stun guns. They look like a flashlight, but they're actually a stun gun. Our officers are trained to spot those on an x-ray. They're not allowed in carry-on luggage because clearly you don't need those in the cabin of the aircraft when you're traveling. And when it comes to traveling really with gifts for your loved ones. Thing. This is some cologne. It's exactly 100 milliliters. Instead of wrapping them, use a gift bag. But if I just place it in a gift bag, they want to take that closer look. They're going to open it up. Take a look at the size and put it right back in. And guess what? You're good to go. So gift bags for everyone. So besides a mask, another uh, tip out there is bring some hand sanitizer with you. And as always, uh, it's best to get to the airport early. Shannon and Carlo. So Kelly, good guidance on what you can bring. But, you know, being at an airport in travel season, we've all seen it. People think there are some pretty incredible things they can get through security. Yeah, I mean, some of the stuff she was showing me, I was just like, where do people come up with this? But I will say about the stun gun thing that she mentioned, you can you can actually bring those if you put them in your checked luggage. As she said, you just need to disable them. Uh, one thing she also pointed out is it's helpful to download the My TSA app because all you have to do is type in an object on here, an item that you want to bring, hit search, and it'll tell you right away if you have to uh, check that or if you can actually bring it on as part of your carry-on luggage. Some helpful information there and leave the soup at home. Right, I learned that. You can bring the recipe with you, but just don't bring the whole <laughs> the whole pan of soup. Thank you, Kelly.